by some chance, Cathy Towers is here. <laughs> I was just passing the door and I heard my track. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, I'm in uh, the Exeter Phoenix for uh, rehearsals at the moment and I'm the, I'm the first one here, so you've got me for a few minutes, Will. <laughs> That's brilliant. That's excellent. So just, just clarify where it is, this birthday party performance, and how to get tickets. Right, it's it's at the Exeter Library. So um, when the library closes, we will be moving aside all the bookcases because they're on wheels, so they move easily, and setting up a stage to and and the seating and stuff to to um, play from there. And it, because tickets are being sold also from the Phoenix and the Corn Exchange, I think one or two people might have got a bit muddled and think it, it's at one of those places, but not this time. No. <laughs> So, um, I'm interested in performance, but can you, do you understand what the library is doing? They seem to be doing an increasing amount of performance. Yes, I, I think they're wanting to make more use of their space in, out, out of library hours as well. Um, and they're doing that by opening up the library itself. They've had um, live music performances, they've had uh, uh, other art projects going on and I've been to, what is it you call when, when you dance? A silent disco. Silent disco, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, I've been to a silent disco there as well. Well, I think it's excellent. And, yeah. and cl clearing all the shelves, or quite a lot of the shelves every day, that's, that's a major commitment, isn't it? They, they move so easily because they're on these big wheels. They just slide them aside and we're actually creating the, the sides of our set with, with them. So, uh, with, with the library bookshelves. <laughs> OK, and how's, how's it going? Are you doing a lot of rehearsal? Oh, gosh, it's, it's been full-time all of January and it is hard work. I've not worked full-time since I was about 30, Will. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've managed to get away with part-time working forever. Exactly, yes. You, you're a pioneer of working from home in a sensible I know. manner. I've, I've just reached retirement age and suddenly I'm working more than I have for most of my life. Yes, retirement <laughs> can be very dangerous in that way. And, and it sort of leaks out uh, beyond um, actually being here doing the rehearsals full-time because... Uh, for example, the other, the other night I thought, I'm, I'm forgetting a load of words that I already know. It's like they've, they've gone in, they've all jumbled up and they're getting mixed up. <clears throat> and so I, I was getting really frustrated and I, when I got back home I went down to the beach because I live in Exmouth and I spent an hour in the dark pacing up and down the beach, raging and ranting as my character. <laughs> right. Who doesn't rage and rant in, in the play, but uh, she needed to get it out of her system. Yes, it probably <laughs> is in there somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yes. And so so uh, I, I came back the next day and I definitely remembered more words. <laughs> So is this very different for you? You mentioned in the, in the clip you, you prepared that you, you're used to doing improv. That's right. Oops, little where's, beeps going where's on. That beep? I think that's the phone. Oh, we got, shall we answer it? What do you think? I, I, I don't know. I, I, I'll, yeah, I'll, I will, I'll answer it. Go on, it. risk taker. Yeah. Hello? <laughs> no, it's gone, it's gone off. Good, yeah. interrupting uh, li us. <laughs> listeners do realise we, we're not massively resourced here at Follow <laughs> FM, but yeah. you never know. It might have been somebody, somebody, somebody else from the production. You just never know. But anyway, Kathy, ca sorry, I interrupted so, you. So what, what was the question again? The question was, you're used to doing improv. Oh, yes. And here you are working for a script, <coughs> remembering all the words, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. working with a director who's telling you fairly precisely how you fit into this scheme? Well, well, because five of us out of the six performers are um, improvisers, um, the, the others, some of the others also uh, experienced actors as well, um, she, she's using improv uh, a fair bit with, with us, so she gets us to improvise a back scene, a back story, or um, what might happen in this situation as well, just to get us more into the characters that we're playing. And uh, once when we were getting really um, frustrated, well, one of the things she d did was get all the characters to say their lines and the bit that they weren't saying. 
So, yes, of course, <laughs> Mrs Bowles, that's lovely. And, and underneath, you stupid old woman, you know. <laughs> oh, right, right. <laughs> Things like that. Right. So, so, so you're getting the subtext to, to, to really feel into how you were playing it. So it's, it's, a, it's a playful, exploratory way of um, l- learning your lines as well. But if you were doing improv, you wouldn't you wouldn't have I wouldn't have advanced lines. dialogue. You'd you'd make it up. Yeah, yeah. As, you make as it you all up as you go. And I'm hoping if I forget any on the nights, then I'll be able to fill it in with some improvised. <laughs> 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 Harold well, Pinter right. might not approve. Right. But no, well that well that would be that would be interesting though to to um, maybe just well not 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 during this production because that's not not what it what it is but on another occasion well, you might do short extracts from the play in a slightly different manner well, well actually we we've already talked about that because uh, one one of our uh, group um Dave has has actually thought through an act four it only has three acts and he's actually thought what would happen afterwards so he's he's, he's uh, we, we might do that one day who knows <laughs> No, that sounds that sounds really good, mm-hmm. really good good way of doing yeah, it. Yeah, the birthday party, the aftermath of the aftermath. <laughs> yes, and the, the other thing to say is that I'm 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 really pleased to have the sound clips. Um, we're 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 moving shows around a bit because you you should be here between two o'clock and four o'clock normally. Yes, that's right. And but you're, you're sitting in for me. <laughs> yes, but you're yes. So the 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 we don't know show. Is going to be then, and the, the, the you, but you turned up to, today, but as a guest, so that's 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 quite good in a in a roundabout sort of way. Mm-hmm. Um, but what 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 I find on the the drama show, uh, or between eight and ten on a Thursday, is um, how can I put this? I think pe- people who do drama are used to working in front of a live audience in a in a. An, an analog space. I'm just going to describe it as an analog space, and that's that's what they value. Mm-hmm. And so, to make sound clips or bits of promotion that work on radio or social media is not the first thing that comes into their heads. No. But, but you've you've you, because you're coming from improv or possibly comedy or stand up. You know, the, the, the sort of those sort of areas. You're familiar with those. Those activities. So you, you, I, I think you, it's because I do the show on Phonic FM. I'm always interested in how, how can I. Well, I, I like to have in, interviewees on my show, and they can't always make my show, so, so I've um, pre-recorded them sometimes. And also, there's been some very creative work done on International Women's Day with pre-recorded pieces, uh, and and I'm learning better how to edit things together right, as right, well right. Uh, so, so that has certainly been a big help and it's it's informed me and I keep thinking there, there's this opportunity here for promotion or or for for sharing ideas and uh, the process of things and um, that, that's what I want to do some more of actually well I hope, I hope you do and I hope mm. other people catch on to that idea as, as well yeah yeah because it seems to me like like mu- music is at one end of it. I'm, I mustn't exaggerate this because I, I, the more I talk to people about it, I, find, I think a lot of musicians actually resent the way their stuff is remixed or sampled or mm-hmm. re- yeah. Re- yeah, yeah. repackaged yeah. by um, people who people at the sort of promotional end of the record companies have accepted these ideas, but whether the, whether the actual artists are entirely happy with it, I'm not sure. I think there's there's quite a lot of debate going on. It, it's an interesting thing, isn't it? Because w- when you have your music, well, well, it's, it's like a the play. Um, every, every different performance of it by a, a different theatre company will be different from what Harold Pinter wrote by the nature of the way people play their characters. And when one one of the things that musicians really love is for someone else to cover the, cover their music, and they sing it completely differently. So a ballad can become a heavy rock, and vice versa. Right. So, so do you know, there's there's some pluses and some minuses in everything that you do. Uh, so, so. But you you'd be happy if if live performance drama did more of that, or was open to other people reworking content in different ways. Of course, I think I think it's essential uh, because. <laughs> 
I, I think when I was young, I used to have a very fixed idea of things. I remember um, being absolutely shocked when um, Zimbabwe, I can't remember what it was called before, it, but it changed its country's name. Yeah, I think it was Rhodesia, was Th that's it, North, it? North and South Rhodesia. I was so shocked because I thought these things were permanent. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and, and Cecil course, Rhodes is yeah, permanent. Yeah, they, they, they all grew up um, and were named be before... I don't, I don't know what, what crazy idea I had, but I remember that feeling of shock as a child. What, you could change a country's name? Uh, so, so, yeah, I, I think it helps us be more flexible, more open, more ideas. Why, why would one person know the definitive way to play a character or play a piece of music? It's, it's exciting to see how somebody else does it. And I think radio is somewhere between classic theatre or, or live theatre and, and social media. It, it, it sort of reintroduced ways of, of promoting things or repackaging things. Mm -hmm. And if, if, if a drama production has got content in a format that social media can use, then it's, it's going to be easy for radio to, to be used it as well, to put, put clips into the flow of a show. Yeah, yes. Y yeah, and, and it's the recording of it that's the challenge, because you don't think that that's an extra task. As, as a in in the drama, you know, I I just thought of it because I do radio, right? Um, but the rest would go, what? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got time. I've got to do this. I've got to do that. Yeah, um, yes. so, so it's it's personal priorities as well. Are you okay for time still? Um, yes, yes, I am. I'm just waiting to hear when when people are people have arrived. Okay. Because I'm I'm early. So, I think then in the t in the time we've got, I'd, I'd just like to ask about re recording stuff at home because it seems to me, during the lockdown, we weren't we weren't allowed in the phonic studio. Yeah. And a lot of, a lot of radio people found that they couldn't get access to their normal studio facilities, mm -hmm. and they started working at home. Um, I I didn't do that because oh. um, I'm not very technological. The, not very technologically minded <laughs> and and so all these things are a, a, a challenge for me and also at the time you know I was going through major care with my parents as well so, so I didn't even have the time to think about learning it uh, but I think that's really opened it up for people who may not be able to make it into the studio to possibly um, still do shows but from their own home but they would need some training and coaching obviously which some of the people here very generously do offer yes well, they don't they don't have to produce a whole I mean you you've produced a 15 minute section which has got music and continuity and and interviews yeah um so and I'd say I'd say I mean just just to if pe we have to re realise that people are now listening in DAB to Phonic FM. So mm -hmm. there will be people who've appreciated that the stereo mix wasn't exact and oh, no, details sorry, like sorry. that. Sorry, I'm I'll, not complaining. I'll, Kathy. Learn, I think, I'll learn that. I, I think it. I think. <laughs> I think it all worked. <laughs> I think. I think. I might, if people have got just mono FM, it probably sounded quite quite all right. I hope they have. <laughs> uh, I'm. I'm just quibbling there because. If we grandly say, oh, yes, every, well, not, not everybody can work from home and do a radio show, yeah. but we're, we're getting closer to that. Mm -hmm. well, well, yes, I, I know there is a way. I was shown the other day how to, to, to change it in, into mono for, for those recordings because of the way I recorded, but I couldn't remember it. No, well, there, there's, there's the problem, yeah. the training. Yeah, there's only, there's and, and only, actually, only I don't a... want to remember anything else at the moment. No, okay, I'm sorry, <laughs> Catherine. Should we should we stop stop there? Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> because you need to concentrate before on before you get me in deep water. The exact script as Mr. Pinter wrote it. I'm sure that is what you need to remember. That is what I need to remember. <laughs> but, but thank but, you for inviting me in, Will. Well, thanks very much for coming. Cause, okay. uh, I, I, won't, I won't have time to repurpose this conversation in time for this afternoon, but I'll, I'll try and use it again tomorrow. 
Lovely. OK, thank so you. The, and um, best, best of luck with the, with the rehearsals and with the show. Thank you very much. So now, um, I think I'm going back to the, the play-out system.